612 on a Monday morning. We love to take trips into Las Vegas' unique past. And this morning, we're taking a look at our own past, the legacy of Channel 8 and former station owner, eccentric billionaire Howard Hughes. So there's a building in our parking lot, and we call it the Hughes House. He stayed there in the 1950s. He lived here in the 50s before becoming the recluse that you've seen pictures of, sheltered at the top of the Desert Inn Hotel. It was one of only three homes that he lived in during his life. Well, George Knapp enlists the help of legendary newsman Bob Stodall, who now sits on the local historic preservation board. This is a transition point in his life, coming and staying at the, at the greenhouse. When was he actually here? Uh, started in the spring of 1953 and left uh, um, um, eight or nine months months later in, in 54. But he lived here. He was staying here. He, he, he was staying here, and, and you could tell he was staying here because when, when it was opened, there was a loaf of bread, half eaten. Uh, the, the, the cabinets were filled with these little cereals, uh, uh, post cereals, Roy Rogers little uh, uh, things. So this is where he, he slept and he ate, had breakfast in the morning or whatever his morning you know, uh, could be. Uh. What was going on in Hughes's life and in the world at that time? Well, in 1953, uh, uh, we had just ended, so to speak, with an armistice of the Korean War, and that was in July of 53. That had been going on since uh, for, for the previous two or three years. We are right in the middle of the Cold War. And Hughes, at that moment, while he was in this house, was thinking, still thinking about building a defense plant in, in southern Nevada, right where Summerlin is now, because he owned all that land that he bought in the, in the mid-40s, about 1942 or 43, 44 and he wanted to build a defense plant there. He started uh, creating and, and having written uh, a film, a movie about Las Vegas with Jane Russell and Vincent Price. And, and that premiered in February of 1952 here, here in Las, Las Vegas. It had been shooting for the previous 12, 8, 18 months. So he had really refocused his life into, into Las Vegas. He liked Las Vegas. He liked in the sense the small town of it, other than there was the entertainment and the casinos that he could quietly go in and wouldn't be bothered. Uh, where in Los Angeles, he didn't, he didn't feel comfortable doing that. So I guess this was the perfect place to be a recluse, right? In Las Vegas? Kind of tease. <laughs> the Hughes house was also used for a scene in the famous mob movie Casino. Uh, it's about the Las Vegas mobsters, Lefty Rosenthal and Tom Tony Spilatro. They're played by Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci. Uh, in the movie, the Hughes house was used as the home of the character portrayed by James Woods. It's seen when Sharon Stone's character runs off to L.A. with him. Our Hughes House special aired last night, so you can find more stories about the history of it on our website. I wow. love the history. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's incredible because mm -hmm. you just come up on it, like you said, Heather, when you first start to work here, you go, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> That's the Hughes there? House. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of mint green. It looks like it's from the 50s. It does. Know? And the lawn is manicured. Mm -hmm. Well, and the legend <laughs> of so Howard nice. Hughes owning the station has to do with watching movies in the middle of the night, right? Absolutely. So the story goes that this long before cable and movies <laughs> and on DVR. demand. Yeah, right. everything that we have now. So they would show movies overnight. Yeah. And Howard Hughes would fall asleep. He would call the TV station and go, I fell asleep, but turn it back. And people who are at home watching would go, wait a minute, didn't we just see that? Oh, it must be Mr. Hughes again. He, yeah. wanted, to, he wanted to watch <laughs> the and movie. And people, people got to know that that was Mr. Hughes probably calling oh to the gosh. control so room. Oh, my gosh. So we were the beginning of DVR and rewind and, right and here. Movies on LA. demand. I demand. <laughs> <laughs> but then the next step in that story is they said, look, if you're going to call and demand that we replay the movie or, or change it up, why don't you just buy the TV station and do it yourself? And that's exactly what so he, he did. did. So he, he bought did. Channel 8. Voila. And so he could demand uh, whatever actions he wanted. It's so. an expensive remote control. He owned us for a while. <laughs> On demand video right here. Love you that saw stuff. It first. <laughs>